Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at disassembling a that Xbox 360 console. I know I've done a few things in the past with Xboxes, but I've never really went into the details of actually disassembling it properly and just showing you part by part how to do that. So that's what we're going to do today. This is an old console fad lying about. It still works. The drive, however, does not work on it. And the other purpose of taking it apart, I think I'm going to repaste it and put some new paste on it and also RGH3 it at some point as well so in this video we'll just cover the disassembly so what we need is screw, two screwdrivers with hex points I can't remember the exact size of them but if you've got a screwdriver kit chances are you'll have the sizes we need a little flathead just to push any wee clips that don't come out and a opening tool these you can pick up fairly cheaply, they're handy to have if you're working on older consoles. Due to the age of these now, it's getting to the point now that they do have to be serviced, so it's good to know how to open them up and disassemble them. Things that do go wrong with them is the drives get sticky on them, so you have to replace the belt and M, and also the thermal paste dries up inside, so that's it's good to know how to replace that as well. So what we'll do is we'll take off the easy parts of the case first before we get into the, the more challenging parts. If you've got the hard drive attached just take that off. Obviously unplug any cables. The first thing we want to do is pull off the faceplate. That should just pull off without much force. There we are. That one had a faulty flap thing on it, we need to repair that. As far as we can see, this has not been taken apart before. Usually that sticker will be broken if it has been. So the second thing we want to do is turn it on its side. So there's little clips in here. So I'm going to use this little screwdriver just to push them down. As I push them down, just lift it up. Like that. Sometimes you just need to be careful to pop back into place again. Just prise your finger underneath it. Don't. I wouldn't pull this up because sometimes you could snap the little clips on them. It doesn't need much force once you push them down. It's a lot of welds and stuff I've took one apart, I can't remember exactly where they are. There we are. I think we've actually lost a clip there, that's what I mean, do not kind of force it. I think they're quite brittle these days so it's not going to take much for them to snap off, so that's that side off. We just want to repeat the same again for the next side.
we thought the other one I was doing it from the top, you're actually better doing it from the side here like this one. Much easier. It's a shame a little bit rusty on it. There we are, that's that one off. Never lost any clips that time. So now, we, before we go and take the rest of the case off, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, PCBWay, for kindly sponsoring this video. So let's head over and take a look at them. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCB is your one-stop shop for PCB assembly, CNC and 3D printing. Quick ordering from PCBWay couldn't be easier. Simply upload your Gerber file and then into your exact specifications into the perimeter fields. Choose your shipping option and PCB way will take care of the rest. For standard PCBs, turnaround is only 24 hours. Don't forget to check out the Shared Projects community. Browse other users' projects or even upload your own. For new users, there's a $5 coupon on your first order. Head over and check PCB way out today. Okay, now we're back. The next thing we want to do is go around to the back of the console and what we'll do is we'll get our console opening tool and as you can see here there's little notches at the back we want to line this tool up so each little pin goes in these notches and the idea is just to push down on it Like so, and the case will come apart. There we are. You could also use a little screwdriver to do that, but you will end up leaving marks on the back of the case if you use that. These are much better. Very inexpensive to pick up as well, so I'd recommend that. And now over to the other side. And what we want to do is get a little flathead screwdriver and just hold up the clips here. As you can see the Microsoft stickers holding it in place, so we just cut that. Nicely. If you wanted to keep the Microsoft sticker intact, you could always get a heat gun and just gently lift that up and put it to one side so you can replace it. I'm not that bothered about that. So there we are, that's the, that's the bottom part of the case off. Now to get into the top part of the case, there's screws here that do hold that part of the case on, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove them. It's usually the larger screws on the outside that hold the top part of the case on. Some of the consoles have taken apart, all the screws have been the same colour, you can see these ones are silver so it's a bit easier to identify them which is good. What we also want to do is remove the drive eject button. That should just kind of pop off. So just wedge your little flathead screwdriver under and just lift it up. That comes off nice and easy. And we have a screw there I forgot to take out. And that's uh, the top part off. 
So as you can see that's us now inside the console. So the next part we want to remove is the the disk drive. There's a little kind of security tab hold not on a bit of silver tape so we just want to cut through that and break that. just lift off like so, just be careful there's two cables holding it in so just get this so we'll just disconnect them like so they just pull out and that's has got the drive so if you want to work on the drive clean the laser or add a new belt you can do that now we've got access to it some marks from the heat there off the heat sink so Probably some new paste will do this console a world of good too. And the next part we can take off this little, just basically for the fans to make sure the, the air goes in the correct place so that just pulls off like so. Again, just a little clip you need to be careful with there. We can remove these cables here. They just pull out. And we can disconnect the fans as well, and it just pulls up. Now we, what we want to do is remove this little panel from the front. So, we can unclip these little flathead screwdriver, just lift the clips up and that should just pop off like so. We need a smaller hex for the front, so I've got my trusty little tool kit here, we'll find the right part for it. So with these, it's just these three that come up. So once you've removed these three screws, this just pulls out, like so, it's just a little connector in there that holds it in place. Again, if you want to do any modifications in them, some people put different coloured LEDs and stuff in them. So if you want to do that, that should now get access to this board. So the next thing we want to look at removing is the, the motherboard. So to, in order to do that we go underneath here and as you can see the screws we've got left here are the ones that hold on the board so we'll go ahead and remove them. And now that we've got these little black screws that hold in what's known as the X clamps. So we'll go ahead and remove all eight of them.
to nail these screws on them, we'll turn it back over. And now really the bolt should just lift up and lift out. Just be careful there's not any caught cables, so that's as the full board's out. And finally just to lift the fan assembly out, just lift the little metal clip above and just pull, pull it forward like so and lift it out. As you can see there's some scotch marks on the case there so must have been producing some amount of heat at one point in time or it's been poorly ventilated. So there we are, that's how to properly disassemble a, a fat Xbox 360 console. Not too difficult, putting it back together is easy, all you're doing is just doing the opposite of what you've done here. Good to get access to the board, the drive, everything you need, give it a good clean then you can put it all back together and it's, it should last you for years to come. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Thanks again for watching and hopefully see you on another video soon. Cheers, bye bye.